Okay, since uh, I last posted, I think I've got quite a little bit uh, further with the uh, T4 Jet Provost from RJB Kits. As you can see, I've done the twin ductings from there. So it's fed down this side and into here. And the EDF unit's in. Uh, my um, ESC here. And then uh, cables will run through here and up into the front end, but from the upper side, this is the lower side of the model. So, quite a bit of work done up at the front end. I've done also a mounting plate, which you can see down in the bottom here for the, um, that's for the rudder, or the fin itself, not the uh, rudder part. So... Uh, that also is done. I'll turn it over in a second just to show further. I'm leaving the ESC here because this is going to be accessible because this the wing will mount here so when the wing isn't on full access here to the uh, ESC. So uh, I've also beefed up a little bit the uh, plates either side. I felt that the uh, one that was in the kit wasn't sufficient so I've just beefed that up a little bit with an um, eighth ply mount to either side top and bottom so all in all it's um, it's probably about three eighths of thickness um, it's about four mil to mount the EDF unit onto it okay from this side you can see now the upper side this will all be sheeted in and you won't be able to see the fan unit from this side. Um, it's screwed into the, as I say, you can see now the thickness, probably 5mm actually looking at it. I didn't measure it, I just, uh, it was a spare scrap piece of ply that I've just put on there. But I'm pleased with that. Um, I've put the uh, ducting in, as I just said, from either side. Um, on this double tube down into here it has got um, wooden, you can just see the wood here inside, this is to help stop it squeezing in, there's the actual structure top and bottom, uh, but I felt I'd just wrap some tape around it as well so it's all quite solid there now, it's been glassed, clothed, which you can see on this one, again it's got the wood on there to help stop the air sucking that closed. Um, all finished now on the air intakes so now I've got that I've got to mount the ESC next and do the outlet tubing down the fuselage uh, and then I can start sheeting the fuselage out I'm uh, one of two areas it's a little bit flimsy as you're doing the construction uh, my mistake has also been using this foam um, component here for construction and it's I've broken one or two longer ons and formers but once it's all uh, bolstered up and glued up we should be uh, alright I'm going to put sheeted it out and everything so uh, but yeah very pleased with how it's come on um, and hopefully over the next few days or a week of the uh, Continuing with uh, the build, I should get it into a state of uh, the fuselage structure more or less being finished. Uh, another big job is to fit the retrack here into the nose end. But uh, you can see where I've broken one or two longer ones and put them back. But uh, I'm going to stop building on the foam now because that's. Uh, Part of the reason why I'm breaking it, but as I say soon, I'll be uh, sheeting it out anyway. So, okay, thanks for watching, and uh, keep uh, your eyes open on the channel for uh, the next session. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and if you do want to see more, uh, definitely subscribe, and also to um, click on the bell. Uh, on the subscription uh, you know so then it will notify you when the next videos are out okay thanks for watching and see you in the next video